Star Valley and Fairview residents Mikkel and Glenna Allred have been called as president and matron of the Star Valley LDS Temple, according to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The calling from the church to the Allreds came just a few days before the formal announcement was made from the LDS Church on Thursday. April 18th, I received a text uh, from Elaine, she said, and she said, this is Elaine, and... Uh, I work in the office of President Uchtdorf, uh, and he would like to uh, organize, set up a time for a video conference with you and your wife and to call this number. So it was a quite an anxious moment to receive that text. After arranging a video conference call with LDS church leader Dieter Uchtdorf of the church's first presidency, President and Sister Allred met face-to-face -face with President Uchtdorf over the Internet the next morning. He was uh, very pleasant to talk with, made us feel comfortable as possible, <laughs> I guess, and, and he issued the call to us. For Glenna, the calling was emotional. I just started to cry. <laughs> Pretty awesome. I mean, I would have never, ever even thought of such a thing. First of all, to have a temple here and to be able to serve there is just wonderful. <laughs> President and Sister Allred, although not officially yet set apart as the temple leaders, explain that there is much to do in the upcoming months as the Star Valley Temple is readied for use. We call the ordinance workers and the sealers and organize the schedule and, uh, and set them apart and get all of this done prior to uh, uh, the temple being opened. We also uh, train them as per this temple each temple has a little bit uh, different uh, way that they handle uh, the flow of patrons and, and so forth and, and will be trained and helped with the way that uh, the temple department wants the Star Valley Temple to be ran. There is much to plan for in the upcoming months for the Star Valley Temple. The free public open house will begin Friday, September 23rd and run through Saturday, October 8th. A cultural celebration will then be held October 29th, and the temple will be dedicated Sunday, October 30th, in three sessions. We have submitted names for counselors. I don't know if they've been called yet, but they will soon, I believe. And we, with the counselors and matron assistants, uh, will be working together. The Star Valley Temple will be the 154th temple in the LDS Church and the first in Wyoming. President and Sister Allred feel honored and blessed to be part of such roles. So it's uh, to be called as a leadership of such a place is an overwhelming and a sacred opportunity, a sacred responsibility, and we're overwhelmed and looking forward.